happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Small with the Spizzards. I'm Small, and bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So, if you're new here, if you're old here, and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys leave a comment. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you check the link down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. And also check out the link to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, former and current athletes, chop it up with us on the pod. Also, turn your notification bells on because the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's talk about Richie Grant's safety out of University of Central Florida. So guys, if you watch my three round mock draft, if you haven't, why not? If you have, if you haven't, go check out my three round mock draft. But if you have already, you already know, I like Richie Grant out of UCF coming to the Philadelphia Eagles in this draft. And I'm thankful for the fact that we have two third round picks. Thank you, Carson Wentz. Hey because we can get Richie and we can get somebody else, but go watch that video. Richie Grant is, so he really stood out in the Reese Senior Bowl um, and people are saying he was originally a third or fourth round talent, but now people are saying they wouldn't be surprised if he goes second round after his showing out -ness at the Senior Bowl. So getting him in the third round would technically be a steal and we gotta make sure we're on lock and steal that guy. Now, why am I looking at a safety? Well. Jalen Mills, Jalen Mills obviously played safety at LSU. Then when he came to play with the Eagles, we converted him to a cornerback. And then he went back to safety after we lost Malcolm Jenkins. You guys know what a big blow losing Malcolm Jenkins was to me and obviously the team. Obviously, Malcolm Jenkins is not necessarily the position that Malcolm Jenkins played, but it, was the, it wasn't the safety. Of Malcolm Jenkins it was the Malcolm Jenkins in the safety so Malcolm Jenkins is very largely hard to replace I know I butcher words all the time sorry guys but it's very it's not an easy task to replacing Malcolm Jenkins but we saw what a big blow losing him at the safety position was but I'm saying it's not just because we lost him as a safety we lost him as a leader um, in a field general if that's a term in football so now, Jalen Mills was obviously one of Jim Schwartz's favorite. Jalen Mills is a free agent this season. Now, we don't know what Jonathan Gannon is going to look to do with Jalen Mills. He might not want to keep Jalen Mills. Jalen Mills has been suspect a couple of times in coverage. So, we don't know if Jonathan Gannon is going to look to keep Jalen Mills. Now, Jonathan Gannon is the former defensive back coach for the Indianapolis Colts. We know he is a defensive back specialist. Now, that could work in Jalen Mills' favor or it could work in Jalen Mills' demise. On one hand... Jonathan could be like, you know what, it's a raw. I like what I see in Jalen Mills. You know, boom, 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 we can do this with Jalen Mills. Or he could be like, mm, nah, I know what I like in the defensive back. And it ain't you, Jalen Mills. Could buy, put the pin down. You ain't signing nothing today. So Jalen Mills is a big question mark for us at safety. Boom, one big question mark at safety. Two, the next big question mark at safety is Rodney McLeod. We love Rodney McLeod. We stand Rodney McLeod. But Rodney McLeod left the season hurt last season. And you got to be realistic, guys. You don't know what these guys are going to look like coming back for, from injury, especially at the defensive back position where you have to backpedal. Backpedaling does a lot on your Achilles. It does a lot on your foot. It puts a lot of pressure on your foot. So that position, coming back from injury, you could lose half a step backpedaling. So we don't know exactly what Rodney McLeod is going to look like after that injury and like I said Jonathan Gannon having that defensive back eye could work in Rodney's favor or his demise one half he could be like Rodney I likes what I see in that guy or on the other hand he could be like I know what I like in the defensive back and it's not Rodney so that's another big boom question mark at safety three Kavon Wallace safety out of Clemson great draft pick but we didn't get to see a lot of Kavon Wallace last season. Why? Ask Jim Shorts. But he's gone. He probably changed his number. We can't ask him. We didn't get to see a lot out of him. So we don't know exactly what he can or cannot do. Now, that's a great thing because he could be amazing and excellent. But it's also a bad thing because he could be average. And like I said, big question mark. So our safety position went from having Malcolm Jenkins, like the top dog, like that dude, to three big question marks. 
So that's where Richie Grant comes in because obviously in this draft, we need some more closure at the safety position. Now, with that being said, let me read his report. So this report is coming from Pro Football Network, okay? So Richie Grant's NFL draft po profile. So he's a safety out of UCF. He's a red shirt senior, 5'11". Yeah, 5'11 and 5'8". Centimeters? <laughs> 200 pounds. So the positives. He's a three-year starter with an underrated game like that. His moves, he moves well laterally and effectively tracks the pass in the air. He gets a beat on the throw, timing interceptions or pass defenses. He's very instinctive. That reminds me of Malcolm Jenkins. Does that remind you of Malcolm Jenkins? The instincts. That's what we need. Very instinctive, quick to read and diagnose and chases the action hard. He displays a closing burst and always works to get involved in the play. Huge. Working to get involved in the play, not getting lost in the play. That's another thing we miss from Malcolm Jenkins. He fires up the field. We need that guy on the field. And Jalen Mills is one of those guys that gets guys pumped up. And if Jalen Mills isn't here, we know we got somebody else on the field who's going to get guys pumped up. He hits hard and sells out defending the run. Consistently takes good angles to the action. Now, the negatives of Richie is he lacks great lateral range and is slow getting to the flanks in coverage. He has, he has an average size and play speed. But the overall analysis of him is that Grant is a solid safety in all aspects of the position. And that's someone we need, not just in coverage, but also against the run. This overall solid, consistent guy, okay? He is, um, he's effective in covering the pass or defending the run. He comes with average sizes as well as speed, but he could line up in dime packages or as a traditional strong safety. Grant also comes with a special teams mentality, which is added value. And that's huge that he's going to be a versatile guy because Jonathan Gannon and the Indianapolis Colts were a defense that liked to switch things up just depending on their opponents. We know Jim Shorts wasn't a guy guy who like to switch his schemes up but now that we're gonna have this Indianapolis Colts minded defense it's gonna be good to have a safety who's gonna be able to line up in different ways whether he's playing free strong safety defending the run defending in coverage it's gonna be good that he's gonna be a guy who's gonna be able to do it all and like I said during the Reese Senior Bowl the scouts kept saying he was involved in every single play he was the guy whose name consistently kept getting called and that's why he has moved up from a solid from a third or fourth round pick to scouts not being surprised if he gets picked in the second round so if we get him in the third round that's a freaking steal and that's something that we definitely have to look at like i said whether it's the draft or free agency we got three big question marks at safety and we need to erase some questions and start figuring out some freaking answers in philly okay we got too many questions so whether we go safety in the draft we gonna have to spend some money and some time on the safety so that means we have to go the free agent route for safety so let me know what you guys think am i tripping am i tripping am i thinking too hard or are you thinking too a little let me know what you guys think but in the meantime Make sure you buy me that coffee down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls. Me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, former and current athletes, chop it up with us on the pod. Stay tuned to my channel. Like what you see. Like what you don't like to see. Just like, period. Leave a comment and subscribe. Bye.